Why is Turkey so prone to earthquake? Turkey is situated at the crossroad of three major tectonic plates, making it highly susceptible to earthquake. In 2002, the country experienced over 22,000 earthquakes. The recent 7.8 magnitude quake, which struck southwest Turkey and northern Syria, was the largest in decade. At 4.17 am local time on Monday, February 2023, the earthquake hit near Gaziantep, causing widespread destruction and claiming the life of over 2,300 people and injuring thousands more. The quake was followed by numerous aftershocks, including a 7.5 magnitude quake in the same region. The initial earthquake wiped out entire section of major cities, devastating a region filled with millions of refugees from the Syrian civil war and other conflicts. In Turkey, 1,498 people died and over 8,533 were injured. Meanwhile, in Syria, the earthquake claimed the life of over 810 people injured over 2,315, according to official reports. The tremors were also felt as far away as Cyprus, Lebanon, Iraq, and Egypt, and over 2,818 buildings reportedly collapsed across Turkey, with the majority of casualties occurring in the southern province of Atay. This disaster serves as a reminder of the devastating power of earthquake and the importance of us getting prepared. Although you can't be 100% fully prepared when it comes to earthquake because they tend to occur unexpectedly. Turkey is situated at the intersection of three major tectonic plates, which make it highly susceptible to earthquake. These land masses, which make up the Earth attache, are always moving and colliding with each other. An earthquake commonly occurs at the plate fault line. These plate fault lines are large cracks on the planet's surface. Most part of Turkey lies on the Anatolia plate, which is situated between the Eurasian and African plates, and a minor plate called the Arabian plate. When these plates are pushed up against and under each other, they can get stuck due to friction. When this plate finally gets on stock, the release of a vast amount of energy is fed in the form of earthquake or tsunami when the tectonic plates converge underwater. This geological activity alights Turkey vulnerability to the power of earthquake and the importance of being prepared for potential disaster. Due to Turkey being located at Tiri Tectonic Plate, this has resulted in repeated major earthquakes over the past century. In December 1939, a 7.8 magnitude quake struck Ezikan in eastern Turkey, claiming over 30,000 lives. In the following decade, the country experienced several more earthquakes, including the 1976 Kadiran Muradi earthquake in the eastern Van province, which resulted in over 4,000 deaths. The deadliest earthquake since the 1939 disaster hit in August 1999 when a 7.4 magnitude quake struck the western city of Izmir in the Mamara region. This quake claimed the life of over 17,000 people and injured over 43,000. According to the Disaster and Emergency Management Authority, AFAD, Turkey recorded over 22,000 earthquakes in 2002 with the quake of February 4, 2023 being the most severe since 1999. Now, this is why building earthquake resistance structure is a crucial step in reducing the impact of earthquake. Before we leave, let's quickly take a look at some ways to make buildings more resistant to earthquake because we know we can't fully 100% make buildings earthquake proof. This involves placing a building on a flexible base such as rubber or lead that can absorb seismic shock and therefore prevent damage to the building. Steam moment frame where beams and columns are connected with bolts and weight can absorb seismic energy and prevent building from collapsing during an earthquake.
Shear walls, which are made of concrete or masonry, can also resist lateral force caused by earthquake and therefore provide stability to the building. Designing buildings with deep and wide foundation can provide a more stable base, therefore reducing the risk of damage during an earthquake. In addition to these techniques, it is also important to ensure that building codes are updated in order to reflect the latest earthquake engineering knowledge and that all buildings are properly inspected and maintained. But for now, we hope and pray for the people in Turkey.